Hi and welcome to the bonus project for this, uh, January's subscription box. You will have made your tote bag with the main tutorial that's already on our channel but I'm going to show you how to make um, a little key ring which you can use as a key ring or you can use as um, an accessory to decorate your bag the choice is yours it's a really quick easy project so you'll need a key ring and an optional um, hook and I've cut two 50 centimeter cords of the braided cord which you made your bag from so you're going to make the ends meet Take your loop end through the key ring hook and then open it out to make your lark's head knot and then you're going to repeat. Okay, now there are so many different ways that you can make an easy key ring. Okay, so for this one, you will have got one of the beads. Um, these beads I've made from polymer clay. You may have seen on our social media that I've been making beads that have got a large hole, which are ideal for macrame. And all we're going to do is I'm going to pin my, my circle part of my key ring so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to make a series of three um, square knots. Okay, so there's one. There's two. And I'm going to do three. Okay. So there we go, there's the three square knots. Okay, now if you want a longer keychain, then you can just make these cords longer and, and do more square knots. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so now I am going to feed, I'll do two at a time, two centre cords through that centre hole. And then I will feed the third and the fourth. And you can see having the hole bigger just makes it so much easier to fit the beads through. And if you're using five millimetre cord to do this, then I've also got some beads with um, a 10 millimetre hole. OK, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my cords over so that the shorter ones are in the centre and then I'm going to make another three square knots underneath the bead. Okay. If you wanted to, you could put the bead at the end or you could put the bead at the top. You know, it's entirely up to you. So there's two. two and a half okay and there's three all right now I've got a few lengths loose and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a wrap knot to finish it off okay so I'm going to get another cord just about 25 centimeters Okay, loop one end back about six, seven centimetres maybe. Okay, and I'm going to place the loop towards the bottom. Leave a little tail here because we're going to need that to secure the knot in a minute. Okay, hold that all together and I'm going to unpin that now. And then the longer cord, I'm going to wrap around all of these cords three or four times one two. Well, I've done four ok 
okay then find your loop and put that tail through your loop okay then have that tail that you had at the beginning and just pull those through to secure your wrap knot okay and what will happen there we go is that that one cord has gone through the wrap to hide it and and to make it secure then just pull all these other cords here to tidy it up i could have done the beginning of the knot a bit tighter okay and there you go i'm just going to trim that end and tuck it in and i'm going to trim that there then if i attach this to my key ring hook there we go and there i've got a really simple macrame keychain with one of those polymer clay beads and i can attach it to my bag or just use it as a regular keychain okay hope you enjoyed that really simple project i hope you like the polymer clay beads okay you might have one of the the paler ones or one of the swirly ones there was a mixture when i baked them um, and what i will be doing is i will be putting together kits to make your own beads as well okay thanks for watching take care bye